Hi everybody and welcome to video number 19 of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In the last video I showed you how to group the keywords. I just wanted to go through one last grouping with you. So this is a program I'm using. It's called Keyword Grouper. In this situation I've gone back and forth. I've tried to figure out the best way to group them to try and come up with something I like. So I finally did that. I'm going to use one word frequencies. Just hit next. We can preview it. Hit finish. So I'm going to copy these and this is what we will use to write our ads which is the purpose of this video. So here we go. 505 keywords were grouped. I'm going to have to do a little bit of modification so surgeries I can just put this keyword into the surgery group reduction I'm gonna create a group for that call it reduction and I will control V to paste that keyword in there and this is doctor so I'm gonna change the name of this group to doctor and then I'm gonna do a quick search for doctor so these are keywords in other groups that contain the word doctor. I'm just going to drag them into the doctor group. And now we have a doctor group with a few doctor keywords related to rhinoplasty. So now all our keywords are grouped based on one word phrases. And this much, that should be called how much. How much. And that's pretty much how we're going to do it with our groupings. So this video is to write ads. So now we need to write ads for each group. In order to get to the ad that we want to write, we have to have some kind of offer or some something to say, some way to differentiate our ad from other competitors in this area. In this example, we're going to assume that our offer is 10% off and free consultation. So, we're in the first group. What we do is hit add text ad, add text ad, hide this message, and then we have this ad format. So the next thing to do is simply write an ad, and I like to select both ads at once, like so, just by hitting control A, and then we will say 10% off cosmetic surgery. But more specifically we need to make it to nose or rhinoplasty or nasal. So if we go to the keywords tab we can see cosmetic surgery is the primary thing but nose seems to also be the primary word in this group. So if we say 10% off cosmetic nose surgery that could be our description line one. Line two could say free consultation. Get, we'll just say call now. That's pretty simple. And for the display URL, you will probably want to put whatever the URL is. So let's just say it's nosesurgery.com and then put a slash and you'll want to make it relevant to this group. So we'll say cosmetic surgery. If that'll fit, it does not. So let's just take out the dash and that fits. So now we have the theme is cosmetic. These are people looking for cosmetic nose surgeries. So our ads, we can have this vanity URL with cosmetic surgery in it. That way this word cosmetic will be bolded as well as surgery if the surgery word is in the keyword. Now we can just split test two different headlines. So one thing we might want to try is cosmetic nose surgery. It's always good to start off with the primary theme in the front head of the headline. So we'll put cosmetic in the front, nose, and surgery. So now we can see that both of these ads are the same. 
but perhaps you want to split test dynamic keyword insertion. We can do that just like that. So we have two virtually identical ads. The only difference is one uses dynamic keyword insertion, one doesn't. And you can see which one gets the higher click-through rate. I would keep these ads, I would run with them until you can determine a winner using statistical confidence. So we'll copy these. So I just hit control C on my keyboard and then let's go in to make multiple changes, paste, and let's just select every group except for the group that we are currently in. Hit preview, process, and we've just added the same ads to all these groups. So now we will want to go through and make these ads more relevant to the keywords within each group. We know the cosmetic one is done, but now we need to work on the other ones. So I'm going to go through there and then I'm going to pause the video and once I'm done I'll let you see the results. Okay I'm back. I did a few groups um, wrote a few ads, don't want to waste time writing them all because this is just an example campaign. So we're here in the first ad group, it's pertaining to cosmetic rhinoplasty or surgery. Go to the ads tab, we can see the ad is highly relevant to cosmetic and nose and surgery. And that's the point of writing ads that are highly relevant to the groups. So let's take a look at the cost group. First, you look at the keywords. Everyone's looking for average cost of rhinoplasty, nose, rhinoplasty job, costs, that kind of thing. So we want to write an ad that speaks to the cost of nose jobs. So here we have a discount, 10% off nose surgery costs. You can see the display URL has the word costs in it, so that would be bold if anyone searches for this. And we have dynamic keyword insertion going on this ad and then we have nose surgery consultation. You could also put nose surgery costs with a question mark, you know, whatever you want to do. But you want to make it relevant to the keywords in that group. Here's a third ad group, deviated. So we have deviated nose surgery and we have 10% off deviated septum surgery, free consultation, call now. And the display URL has deviated dash septum doctor, so people looking for doctors that are specialists in nose job areas. We have top rhinoplasty doctor, MN for Minnesota. Best rhinoplasty doctors, 10% off. Rhinoplasty nose job doctors, 10% off, free consultation and quote. You see how these ads are very relevant. So how much are nose jobs? So you can start a headline with a question and then you can say get a free rhinoplasty consultation. No obligation, 10% off. Call now. There's a lot going on in the ad. And then the display URL has prices. And then we could look at jobs. Nose job consultation. Because our whole point is to get a consultation or quote. We want to set the expectation of what the user can expect if they click the ad. And we want to also pre-qualify the click by making sure that this says consultation. We don't want people clicking it, costing us money that don't intend to convert. So that's kind of the reason you stick with the theme and you try and relate the theme to the ad to your offer. And that's pretty much it. The other groups you could go through and you could do the same exact thing, but it's essentially a template. You just use the same template and you modify it for each group. And then what we'll do is we will, when we're done, simply go to the Add Groups tab. Let's just add a default bid in this area. Probably a high CPC. So I'll just put a max default bid of five bucks. Campaign budget you'll want to set to whatever you're comfortable with for a daily budget. And then that's it. I mean we could really literally copy this campaign. We could open up our account by simply hitting add account, logging in, and pasting it, and then we could upload it. Before we would do that though, we would want to check the settings. So when you're setting the settings here, I recommend setting it rotate to show ads more evenly. Don't set your geotargeted settings in here. 
set them within the AdWords interface. We will also want to use standard method of delivery at first. If you don't have a mobile website, uncheck mobile devices with full browsers, hit OK. So this will be targeting computers, laptops, desktop computers, and tablets. Display network set to none. And depending on your budget, you can only target Google or you can target Google and a search network. In some cases, Google and search network gets lower CPA and sometimes Google search only has a more cost-effective CPA. But you're going to have to test that on your own. And that's it. So now we have our campaign set up. If we wanted to, we could go into extensions. We could add location extensions. I recommend doing that in the interface. If you have a lot of locations, then do it in here. But if you have one or two, it's not a big deal to do it for one campaign within the AdWords interface. Site links, if you have several different areas within your website, add a site link. These are on the campaign level. So this will be um, link one. This would be link two. You can't use trademarks in these site link names. You want to make sure that the destination URLs are going to different deeper pages within your website. And then that's it. So I've pretty much showed you everything that you need to know in order to create a paid search campaign. I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials. I hope they've taught you a lot about AdWords Editor, and I hope you're more efficient with AdWords Editor. Thanks a lot.